doing the little, you've seen the little like panels that go across the screen as we're talking about it. I thought about just doing one that's completely not in the video at all. Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Show Me How to Win and Cardboard Stacker Top 5 video. Today's Top 5 is going to be on... Best Travel Game, right? Yes. Best Travel Games, that's right. And here with me is Jackie and Ferdinand once again, but now together for our yeah. three uh, lists of Top 5 games. Have, 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 games. We, have we done a Top 5 together all of us? No, 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 no. So. we've done them separately, but never all he together all at once. always keeps us separate yeah. for some reason. I don't know why. But, well, well, I'm keeping I know, because you guys are going to argue with each other all this time, and then you're both going to come at me and tell me my games are bad, so I've just kind of been avoiding this, but here, here it is. Um, <laughs> You guys, I, I, she's like, yeah, that's not how you do a category in Ferdinand's. Mm. Like, that game's not it's worker not placement. It's not a mechanic. <laughs> well, 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 let's talk about that. What are travel games anyway? Right. So travel games, in my opinion, are things you can fit in your pocket. Now, some people could say that it's a game you could play while you're traveling. Um, but I would say specifically, it's just something that's small enough to where you can put in your purse or pocket. And then you can take it out and play it on a table somewhere. I would say at least a you know, a bag or a traveling case or something like that. For me, at least, like, if you're going to travel, like, you know, to a different country. I kept my list of top five games, and there are not really any particular order, necessarily, but I kept them all to the point where they could fit in these pockets right here. Where the game can fit in the pocket that I can take out. That is how I well, based it on. Really? My, mine will be a, a computer bag, at least. Like, a big computer <laughs> bag. Yeah, depending on how big the pocket yeah. is. That's fine. Yeah, no, I, I just, for, for a traveling game, though, I'm going, I'm going to my aunt's house or whatever, and I want to bring a game, but I don't want to have to carry it in there. Anything that fits in my pocket, that'll be a travel size game for me. But you guys probably do, have... Do, do you I, have I, I think of it more as, like, a long... Like, on a road trip, or mm -hmm. waiting at an airport, or something like that. Like, something you play that does not have a lot of footprint, but... Easy to pack, small, obviously. Most but... of my games all satisfy that except for one. Yeah. But the one game I have is like this big, and uh, it needs a table size of like this big. Also, any of my games can be torn down without the box. I mean, with the yeah, game exactly. is carried by the bag. So, I mean, yeah. yes, the game, I mean, some of the boxes I would show is actually bigger than the game itself, but you can just remove the box and you'll have a lot more space. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Um, anyway, let's go. So let's get started. Yeah, how do we normally start the videos off? Well, we roll die and see who gets the highest. And if they're ties, we roll off until someone is determined the winner, and they get to determine the order. Yeah, winner determines the order here. So we all have our own unique die. Mine is, of course, the black die because I'm evil. I'm red, of course. I'm white and black. Beautiful. Like a piano. <laughs> I'll go first with a four. Six and a four. I Red I let wins. You, I let you out. Yeah, she, he <laughs> broke you out. That's why. I was, I had... Oh, actually, mine was lower. Uh, well, we're just stuck in there. This okay. is a bigger die. Okay. But all right, so you're going to go ahead and decide, decide the order first. Uh, this is the last, first, or in the middle. I will start things off. Okay. And uh, Ferdinand can go last, and you go second. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm happy. All right. Number five. Our number... Are you? Do you guys have, like... Do you guys list your have your list as one, five through one, or like there's no order? Five to one is normally, but in this case, I don't have an order. So, but normally it's number five, four, three, two. Yeah. And one. For me, you? I have no order except for the last one because the last one's the one I actually traveled the most with. So that'd be your no, yeah. number one. So our number one is like the ones that we we think are the best. The best, yeah. yeah the, the best travel size board games. Okay, so my number five. Uh, are either one of those games. So depending on what you like. She these picked are, two? These are these are for two players. You can't pick two. <laughs> well, number five and number 5.1. <laughs> That's it's right, I get you this Number five time. slash A, number, number five slash B. Because they're very similar. Well, the games are different, but they're like, they occupy the similar space. So these are both games that uh, are only meant for two people and usually when I travel I travel with uh, my husband and that's it so these are that's games because that you never invite me anywhere <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, come on. Then <laughs> what? She said she only travels that, with her husband. That is true. That is true. I have no rebuttal, so I will leave it at that. So as you can see... She doesn't they, want to take me anywhere. I don't blame her. I can't take you anywhere. You just embarrass me. Mm, fair enough. Yes. All right. So uh, they don't really need a box, and if you see... And all it takes is like this, I keep mine in this little bag because this is all you need. And I even have like just like tear down a few sheets and this is all you need to pack. And this is the same thing, all you need are these two things. So two player game, uh, these are games that are a little bit more, they require some table space because you have to play the cards out. So one is uh, Tides of Time, this one you are basically... Um, Drafting, if you will, back and forth and try to like, you know, score points. And this one is a, uh, I, I choose, I play, you choose kind of game. So, uh, both only meant for, uh, two players, Hanami Koji. This is by Emperor S4 and this is by Portal Games. So these two are mm -hmm. my number five. Just so, only for two players. Just so you know, the Hanami Koji, um, they're getting a new version of it with yeah, male this, characters. Exactly. I yeah. was gonna bring that up. So if you if you want to play with not beautiful geisha but handsome Asian scholars, you can get the new version. <laughs> she just went on the Dice Tower Essentials list and started picking a lot, didn't you? No, actually, I got this from the publisher when I went to Taiwan and interviewed mm -hmm. the publisher. I yeah. see how it is. I, I noticed because, uh, what do you call it, it Deepwater Games is it the says, publisher here. It says Emperor S4 here, but not Deepwater. Why don't I get to go to Taiwan? Because I didn't games. invite you, and that's I, why. See, I, I knew it! it. And you have, if you have a previous version of Hanami Koji, it's, it's simply, smaller. It's simply fun version, um, the one Quick before that. It's, yeah. yeah, it's much smaller. Yeah, and this one, uh, I got, like, a promo, so, like, I, no, I just love just, it because it's just she's, so pretty. She's just flexing now. She's like, look what I got. You guys have promos? No, oh, you don't Friend have any promos. Brought it up. All right. Number five. That right. was it. Fine, fine. For me, I, my number five, this would probably be my fifth on the list if I had to choose. Um, you guys ever played a game where you have a packet of salt or a packet of sugar and you're at a restaurant and you flick the packet and you're trying to get the packet on your opponent's side of the field where it's on its edge? Like oh, where it comes off just on the tip. I know what game you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about at all. Well, this is a card game that is similar to that. This is called Brink. And uh, when I first saw this game, I did not know what I was going to be expecting from it. Uh, it's got some funky art. It's basically the size of like, oh, I don't know. Like a pack a, of gum. A pack of gum almost. Mm -hmm. And what it comes in the game is literally the rules for how to play the game and a stack of these plastic Credit cards. card like, like credit almost card. like credit cards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the game's pretty simple. You take these, you take these mm -hmm. things and you flick them, uh, and you're trying to slide them across the table, and you're trying to get them to hit the edge of the table. Nice one. And I did. I hit the edge of the <laughs> table there. And if you get them on the edge of the table, it'll give you ten points. If you don't, it'll give you one point, provided you pass the scoring line. And uh, there's certain specials like uh, this one will give you thirty points if you hit the edge. Uh, this one will give you uh, a times two bonus if you hit it, if you if you land on something or some other pace. And then this one will double the score of anything that it has its lines across. Anyway, that it's, it's it also can be uh, used where you can actually change the way the table look. Or we have we've had boxes of board games stacked up in different ways, and mm. we're trying to throw on top of the board game and whatnot. And you can double the points and whatnot, so you can give give it its own obstacle course. This game is one of those games where you the fun is as much as you want to make it. If you're just simply throwing the cards and passing it along, it's probably not going to be as enjoyable. But when you start adding in crazy little obstacle courses and whatnot and then of course the sense of nostalgia i get when playing this game because i remember playing with my friends in, in junior high and uh, high school this this game where you're throwing the sweet and low packet and it, <laughs> and it hits the edge there and you have to eat it because your friend did oh it's awful awful but so much fun this one is a nice little uh little like step up from that game i guess and you can take it anywhere this is literally like yeah right, it's right really in your pocket. portable it'll fit in your wallet yep it'll fit in your wallet so small so Brink, uh, the card game. It is by, I don't know, Super Fun. I think. I think. I um, hey, let's see here. Super. Brinkgame.com. Brinkgame.com. Bye. Mm -hmm. All right. Twelve Brink, cards. Brink. Twelve plastic cards yeah. in, in, a, in, a, in a box. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. My turn. Here we go. Don't get mad because it's gonna be a word in here now. You might not lie. It's gonna, it's gonna be big. No. Oh no. Monopoly oh. deal. No! I, play, I have uh, this game, actually. Millionaire edition, but either one will work. There's mm -hmm. the regular edition, there's the millionaire. Uh, well, 
this is this one you know this couple cards i think about what 106 cards in there plays yeah. fairly quick easy rules you can take this any and with anyone and yeah and it, goes, it plays pretty fast like under 30 minutes like the biggest problem with monopoly is that it just drags on and you're mm -hmm. just playing with the winner so this eliminates that yeah issue nice i mean the, well, the other thing is, I haven't played it, does, this, so I don't it, know. it does have the monopoly theme in there it feels like the monopoly theme it doesn't have any like it doesn't feel like the mechanics of monopoly yeah, it's in different. there it's, it's quite it's different. a car game yeah uh, it's lit with take that but you don't care because the game is so short and i believe in the millionaire's edition you're not collecting as much properties you're actually collecting as much money oh in there. so that's I, this is a different one yeah because yeah. i play the regular one it's just basically a set collection game. that's set collection yeah. it's the same mechanics but this one you're trying to generate money nice mm -hmm. yeah i think that that's uh the I mean, so far all these are basically uh small enough games to put in your pocket almost that one mm -hmm. probably might fit in my pocket yeah yeah not the box but the, the game itself yeah. you take it out of the box for sure yeah. when you go travel all right. all right all right so again number 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 four. four. Number four. You again. Six <laughs> again. Oh, right. I get to choose. You do? You do get to choose. Uh, I guess we'll reverse the order. I'll oh, go last. Oh, nice. You can go first and... I'm still stuck in the middle. <laughs> All right. Fair All right. enough. Okay, here's a game. I'll go get it. It is a game. Uh -oh. it, this is definitely I don't a game. Think, oh, the game. Many of you probably haven't heard it. It's, it's also very low key, but uh, it is Tsum Tsum oh. Bubble Fever using the Tsum Tsum from Disney characters and stuff. That's so cute. It is, it is so kawaii. It is related. I know. I want to play it right now. It is related to the game <laughs> of speed, like the card game. Oh. You so you're matching the, the the famous Disney faces on there. Uh, what's cool about it, it's a kind of like, it's a, it's a little bit of a pusher look in here as mm -hmm. well, because what you have either these Some bubbles, cards. Cards. bubbles, yeah, and uh, you're putting stuff on, but if you, uh, like for example, if Tigger's on there, right, you can only put Tigger cards, you want to get rid of cards because at the end of the game, you're gonna lose points for each card you have in your hand. So you want to oh. get rid of it. As it gets bigger and bigger, you're gonna slap your bubble in there and take all the points. All those cards are points. And they could also be big ones. But you have to kind of like react and see what everyone's doing and see how the piles are building up. And they're like, oh, like you, you want to get rid of you know a certain type of card. Because sometimes it's not going to appear again to put down. Mm -hmm. Because whatever you have left, you get any points. So you're putting it down, and you're putting it down as fast as you can, and then someone else slaps it. What if you mess up, though? Like, you make a mistake. Oh, well, you just take it back. It's, I mean, it's, it's a frantic so it's a, game. Okay. You just keep going, and it just like you just want to get those good points and uh, also give rid of your cards. So this is, I think this is a far, Disney. yeah, it's a far better version of speed. Even Blink, if you heard that game yeah. before. So it's- uh, Not Brink. Not Blink. Blink. Blink is another different, it's a different one. It looks, it's like Uno meets speed. That one's Uno meets speed. This one is just getting rid of cards and has this- My character. wife, if she sees this, she's gonna steal this from me. But oh yeah. No, I mean, this, no, it plays quick, like so five cool. minutes. <laughs> Beautiful. Bubble fever, Disney bubble fever. Yeah, but the best part are the bubbles. Are are bubbles? Zoom zoom. Yeah. It's the tiny, the little characters. Yeah, you can get Ugh. little plushies on them too. Yeah, you know. So who's the publisher? Yes. Yeah. Maybe Hasbro. All right. Oh, back here. I pulled my secret game in the back. This game, we've actually been talking about this for quite a bit now, previous to the filming of this, and. Uh, and even during, I think, before prior to actually starting this, but we're sitting here, uh, Mega Man, right? Uh -huh. Can you think of a, a Mega Man game that I might enjoy? Pixel Tactics? That's mm -hmm. right, Mega Man Pixel Tactics yeah. by Level 99, uh, Jasko, and of course, mm -hmm. VIP Capcom. And there's three other iterations, so you get you just, right behind you. You oh. love Mega Man. Show them, show them your tattoo. Yeah, I got, I got a little bit of Mega Man stuff going on here, so I do like yeah. Mega Man quite Super a bit. Super fighting um, robot. If you like Pixel Tactics and you like Mega Man, this is a definite yeah. uh, pickup for you. If you like Mega Man specifically, I would just take this anyway because it comes with all different characters. Mm -hmm. Super cool. Um, I really like what Pixel Tactics. Is it? it is a tactical placement game. You're going to place down a grid of nine cards, and you'll be fighting back and forth using range attacks and melee attacks, trying to defeat your opponent. Uh, it's, it's fairly simple. It has some deck construction to it. And of course, you can use your characters as either a leader or you can use it as a yeah, main. So, so once you have a, a leader, minion. once you have a leader already, yeah. all the cards are just regular, yep. regular robots. So leaders have better abilities, but they're, they're your character and you have, and they each 
have different. But every card is different. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Mega Man though. But, I, I but, like Mega Man games. Um, I really wish that the from I've heard, I haven't heard very good things about the Mega Man board game, uh, the newest one that's actual board game. So I didn't, I haven't oh. went ahead and bought that. I wish, I really wish I did have it just because I like the IP, but. I, I'm afraid to play it and dislike it because I like everything Mega Man so far. Um, but that's good. Except for Mega Man Soccer. Yeah. <laughs> but that's good. Excellent. Yeah. This is very excellent. <coughs> so, uh, Mega Man Pixel Tactics. <coughs> or I guess Pixel Tactics in general, if you must. <laughs> for you, it's Mega Man. All right. My number four is No Thanks. Have you guys played this? I played no it. Thanks. I love it. It's a great game. I have not, but everyone keeps telling me how great it is. So, I, think, I think this is one of one of Ferdinand's lists. It's all one of Ferdinand's lists. Auctions, I think. Auction games. It's yeah. a reverse auction, actually. Yeah, well, it's sort of an auction, I guess. If you don't want it, you have to, because you don't want points. Yeah. So, uh, no thanks. This is all the components there is to it. Yeah, and I haven't it opened it yet. Yeah, it requires very <laughs> little. I have a, this is my unopened one. I have a, a one that's all beat up. Yeah, that until that goes away, you're going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the backup. So, I'm showing the nice version. Um, all right, so. Uh, basically, no thanks, you're trying to not get cards that are high numbers. So, uh, basically every round there will be one card out and then you can hold your cards in your hand so it doesn't take a lot of table space. And if you, if it's your turn, you must take the card. If you don't want it, you give away one of your chips and then you only have so many chips. After that, when you're out, you have to take all the cards. So basically at the end, you add up all the numbers. How, unless you have a series of numbers, then you only count the lowest one. So if I have one and... One through six, you only count the lowest the number, one. which is yeah. one. Yeah, so uh, basically, it's the mechanic super simple. It's by Z-Man Games, and it's very portable, and it's uh, surprisingly very... It's addictive. Yes, you, you, I, yeah. we also like play like three play games. Play so fast. Yeah, yeah, play three games of these every night. Yeah. Two, this At some is point, for, I should play it. This is for maybe maybe we can play later. Yeah. Uh, this it's is for three to five players. <laughs> so two players only, three <coughs> players only. Two players. Two players, but I guess you can play as many as you want. Yeah. yeah. Well, mine's up to four, but you can push it to five if you like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then then Monopoly deals like up to four. So. <clears throat> Number three. <laughs> Was it the guy at the dice tower? Number three! Like. Four, four, and of course my five. Three! Oh. Uh-oh, re roll. Re roll. Re -roll. I was just gonna let you decide. You can go ahead and decide. No, 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 we must re roll. That's right. Okay. The dice will choose our fate. Six. That die is fixed. Three. Jackie, once again, <laughs> choose the order. You know what, Michael? Do you want to go first or last? I can go you first. can choose. Okay, you can go first. I'll go second and you'll go last. Okay. Fine. Ugh. That way he's not stuck in the middle. Oh. <laughs> but Michael loves being in the middle. All right, this one, I'm sad that I don't actually have the uh, the game itself yet. And that's because it's a prototype and the game should be coming out in the next couple months here, I think. Uh, this is actually it. by a designer uh, that you do know. Uh, Joey. Oh, it's Growl. It's oh, growl. yeah, it's Growl. Growl is basically a, it's it's what I like to call the werewolf for, game for under seven players. You could play more, but I, I prefer it at seven or less. It's also nice because I like playing werewolf with seven or more, or eight or more, mm -hmm. nine or more maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but this one here has four, five, six, and seven players on this little, what I've gotten to play with here. And you're basically going to be either being a werewolf based on, number, based on having a bite or not at the beginning of the game, and then you're going to be passing cards around the table. Uh, you get to play it a little bit, I Yeah, think. I played it. And I think you played it I as played well. it with him, yeah. Yeah, and... Yeah, um, he demoed it to us. My wife and I, when we were playing this game, we started realizing all the different cool... It had that trader element, but it's still different than just a trader game because of the way you're passing out cards and whatnot. It's Everything is visible, and you have the option to try and mess with somebody, and that person also can fight for their lives by saying, I need that heal. I need that to not that to not get the wound. Or I already have two bites. If you give me that charm, it'll make me go down to one. If you give me that bite, I'm gonna turn. And so there's all this back and forth going on in the game. If you're not super into like thick trader style games, this is a nice light version to play. It's also something you can play in a small table area. And uh, they're gonna have this cute howly growly box, mm -hmm. which is gonna have like, this, like little cute werewolfy monster thing looking. Yeah. And it's super cool. Um, my wife has been dying to get it. 
I just have the little baby components in here, but there is uh, better components that in the add-on coming the too. Kickstarter, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, so, the, the thing is, what I really like about this is that the designer himself, Joey, he actually really thought about the mechanics, and the mechanics mm -hmm. drives the narrative in it. Yep. And I think it's the best storytelling of Werewolf in a game. Yes, I would agree. Yeah. I would agree. It's the best storytelling. I, I, I mean, yeah. Werewolf Legacy actually has a story to it, which is nice. Um, but this one here is, as as a, as gameplay itself goes, this tells a story of how werewolves are taking over the town and mm -hmm. you're trying to avoid right. that. And if you add in the uh, expansions that we try, like with the potions, there's like talisman and all that, it makes the game, the story a little yeah. bit, Some even more bonus rich. content. But right. yeah, Growl, it's fun. I think I have a little, I can show you what it looks like. Just can the, you, just can the, you? Yeah, right here. This growl. Is, that's Growl right there. My Joey Vigor. Uh, he also did Cause Chaos Mode. Chaos Mode. <coughs> and then it's also from the company that did the, the latest game called The King's Guild. Oh. Is that under the same company? Yes. Really? Oh, right. I'm pretty sure. I, I know I know that Chaos Mode and The King's Guild are. I think this one is. Right, because they, well. they came. I don't, know if, I don't know if this one is specifically, but they work together in a lot of stuff. I see your game. I know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess Keymaster or whatever it's called is, is the company. Yeah. That's my guess. Sorry if I'm wrong, Joey. I don't know. Are you done? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay. My number three is actually in the same vein as yours. Uh, Spyfall. Now, this box is big, but inside, if you have Spyfall, you know that it's basically just a bunch of cards. Mm -hmm. So, I choose Spyfall because this is a game you can actually play on road trips. You don't need a table. So basically, you just grab a few packets, just don't cheat, don't don't look at what it is, and then you uh, give everybody a car. They look at it, they can play in a car. They can just basically interrogate each other, you know, like, they don't need a table, right? I mean, you know the I, game I really think well. even the driver can play because yeah. they only have to look at the card really quick, and it's yeah. not like looking at a phone or anything. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. yeah. You, can't, you can't see the locations, but, you know, if you have played this have a few this times, you, you would know. I have, actually. I would like to. I think that'd be fun when we go to Arizona Game Fair. I think uh, right. I think Sp Spyfall's coming out. Yeah, so in, in, in those long road trips, so I picked this because I think that you can play it not just like at a table, but you can also play it on a road trip while you're driving. And the game is about trips. one person's a spy, they don't know what the location yes. is, everybody else is at that location. And people are asking questions, trying to figure out who is this spy? who doesn't know what location it is because that person. I played a spy. it. Yes, I played but this is an excellent game. It's yeah. a great choice. I would have picked it, but it doesn't fit in my pocket. There's also yeah, a sequel to it. I mean, my pocket's you want not more that cards. Big. And there's also a DC version that actually right. has a different way. I, of do, I have the DC version of it and the sequel. You say you saying this doesn't fit in your pocket? I guess if you took all the cards out and put them in your pocket and then shuffled them in your pocket and picked you them could put this in a deck box. You could. I guess yeah. you could put it. Okay, so if you bought the game, put it in the Xbox, then it. I didn't think that far ahead, all right? <laughs> I have actually gone on road trips with uh, Spyfall before, and it, wor it worked. Yeah. So, um, I can see, easily see it working, yeah. especially because you can play it from out, out of the box. Yeah. You can pull it out of the box. Yeah, so you can exactly. keep them all there. All right. And, yeah. Oh, are you done? Yes. Okay, my turn. I, like, it's like it, it is my turn, it is right? turn. Okay. He doesn't want to show. He's like. I think. I think for most the of the games the we've seen up. right now, is yeah. probably this is probably the most traditional one, I guess, or traditional feeling one, and that is Gang of Four. And this is a what we call a ladder. Is there a Gang of Five as well? No, it just well actually there is, and also uh, no. a Gang of Six. Uh, well, are you okay, serious? Then. Yeah. Days of Wonder. Wow, yeah. the player count is. Three to four? Interesting. Yeah. It's only three to four. Three. But it's better. For, it's actually, it is a four player game. Mm. Yeah. Three has a dummy lens, so you don't, yeah. you don't care about okay. that. Well, this is in the vein of trick taking games, but it's a ladder climbing game, which is like a sub genre of trick taking games where you're. So in, in this game, you someone plays, like for example, like a single card, then everyone has to play a single card that's better mm. or better, and you're trying to go out first. And so you won't get. You won't score points. People who have cards left over in their hands will score oh. points until we reach a maximum um, set point, and then the game is over, and they are the biggest losers. Is this okay? And I believe this is a game that's based in a um, a uh, Hong Kong game. Is it like game. Big Four, Big Two, or Tichu, something like that? Tichu. It's part, it's related closer to yeah. Tichu. So it's it's it's. I like this better than Tichu. It's a bit more streamlined. Right. And this one, uh, it's not it's not a complete playing card deck. It's one through nine. It has three different colors. With, du with duplicates, plus there's a dragon card, which is like the number, like the highest card you can play, and then there's two pairs of uh, phoenixes. 
So you can play like one car, a pair, three mm -hmm. cars, or whatever. Card. Or a five car, like you can play a flush. Like a poker hand. Yeah, you can play a flush, and oh. then if someone has to beat that with another, with a better flush. Sounds so, very much yeah. like teach you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, but I think it's much more streamlined, mm -hmm. and I like it better. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Good choice. Cool. That is our three. Yeah, so we're on number three. Number two. Oh, good. I don't think good, I'm good, good, win good. This time. Three, four, and five. Six. <laughs> Uh, I will go first now, so that way I'll be able to go last for the last one. All right, that's, that's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna win the next one, and then I'm gonna go last for that one. Who's going next after you? Uh, we'll have uh, Ferdinand go next. But I'm in the middle. We'll have Jack. I know. Oh. All right. <laughs> this one's called Ten Minute Heist, and it's by Daily Magic Games. Ten Minute Heist is super, super cool. But it does have a large table space, so it doesn't match the road trip category, but as far as putting your little pocket and taking it to grandma's house, no problem whatsoever. It's a tiered system where you start at the top and you're trying to go to the bottom. Whenever you go down, you can't go back up, but you can stay on the same level. And you're taking pieces from the tower, you're stealing from the wizard. And as you steal from the wizard, you're basically trying to make sets and collect certain things. Uh, when you leave, if you leave first, you get the most you get the most points, and as you leave, the last person gets negative points or or no points depending on how many players and uh, whoever has the most points at the end after stealing from the wizard wins this game is really cool I, I love the idea of going down the wizard's tower the theme really works the art really works and uh it's very very small and portable i played this game many 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 times i showed ferdinand this yes game i do like this. it it, it, I would say it is about 10 minutes. Yep, it takes two to it takes two to five players, and I think ages even like eight yeah. and up can play this game. I think 10 to 15 minutes would be... Yeah, it's maybe 10, 15 minutes. I mean, the, the, the more you get uh, better at this game, the longer the game yeah. takes, because the analysis paralysis uh, sits in. Yeah, so and I love the 15 minute heist. Yeah. yeah, and it's a crash and gag. You're trying to get but as many. If you play this two stuff. players, this yeah. game can be five minutes easily. Uh, yeah, if you either know what you're doing or don't know what you're doing, it'll be five mm -hmm. to ten minutes. Yeah, easily. A yeah. little bit of set collection, different abilities with the items and stuff. Yeah. Achievements. There's mm -hmm. trophies. There's all kinds of little goodies. And really cool expansions art. Expansions in it. I. Yeah, it's it's a big game too for what what's in there. It's got all types of like. Mm -hmm. It's all got all types of stuff in it. But yeah, it's you're know, going down the wizard's tower, stealing from him. Super fun game. Really, really like it. I definitely suggest you take a look at it if you like uh, small games with a lot of stuff in it. Cool. I'm next. Mm -hmm. Ferdinand is next. Gonna give right, us a game. My bag. It's, it's, it's not the gonna be from 1968. It, it is not. This is probably the smallest game. Is this game actually gonna look like it hasn't been played 8,000 times? Smallest players? games. That you've seen, and I say games with an S at the end because they're multiple games. Oh, that's oh, cheating! I wonder it's if not it's... cheating. Oh crap! I wonder if it's out. Oh. It is the Paco game series. I knew it! I knew <laughs> this was coming. Yeah. Yep, they're tiny little stick of gum size. Mm. You can games. get them at uh, I can get them at Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Nobles have them. Yes, oh. they do, and they're all each individual, individually theme and design by Chris Handy. I think this beats my 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 size for Brink. Yeah, it's it's like. It's even, yeah. like, like half I don't size. know about volume or mass, but I would say this is, is smaller, I would say. But they're, they're, I just picked the ones I like the best in the series. How many do you have? These? They're, I have all of them, 16 plus one. One is the promo, so. Anyway, so. It was a promo game? Yeah, it's a promo. Yeah. It's a promo game. But it's, it's only one game. It's only one game. Yeah. Right? yeah. So anyway, here we go. We got Fly, which is a dexterity game. You're getting these lit, um, you got a. <laughs> yeah, I can't play that one. I don't like bugs. Well. <laughs> they won't, they're not alive. I know, still. It's, you gotta, you got what are these called? Fly swatters? You're Swatter. supposed to swat it. You swat it. No, you drop it from the air and try to swat yeah. the flies that way. You got Hue, which is a game of um, you're playing cards, and yeah. the last card is what you scored with, mm -hmm. but you're trying to get the biggest boxes in there. And then we got Shh, which is one of my favorite word games because it's a cooperative yeah. word game. And it's uh, all about using the you whole have to use the alphabet. Entire alphabet. Yeah. 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 You can't talk when you're. No, there's no talking. This game. There's no talking. Yeah. You can't talk when you're playing this game. Okay. And Boo is a, I believe it's a two player game. Yeah, it's you two, two players. players. And you're trying to face ghosts more than yeah. your other opponents. You need, have you played all these? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And these, yeah, they, no, these are great. Great little games. Yeah. Yeah. Great uh, for travel. So, yeah. Yeah, look, I snuck in four games in here. I could have snuck in 16 games, but I didn't. <laughs> Fair enough. The, and then they're called what again? Uh, the Paco, Paco Games. Paco Games. And it's Paco. anywhere from two-player games up to five or six. Five. I would say six is probably the maximum one. 
They do have a couple that play. Live, I live, believe live is live. six, but that's like live dice with like very minimal cards mm -hmm. and like almost like no probability rules. <laughs> anyway, you're up. You're up. All right. <laughs> What's that? Quicks. Quicks. Oh, quicks. Have you guys played this? This is our first rolling right in this. Right. Yeah. I <laughs> don't five. think so. So, quicks. The component. Six dice. <laughs> Six dice, that's it. And you just need a scoring sheet. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, uh, no. You're, no, you're trying to, okay, so you are trying to basically cross off numbers from two to 12, yep. right? So you're rolling and you, these can, these are wild, I think. It's been a while since I play uh, quick. So you might be surprised that I brought a dice rolling game yes. because this is actually something I do enjoy uh, playing. Like on this on the road when you don't really care about if you're winning or losing because it's just a dice game. So um, yeah, this is available at Target. At a lot of places, it's like yeah, super cheap. Very common. Super uh, cheap. Or up or at Kohl's, or they actually. Yeah, the I think it's like this is a bucks. this is a game right game, and they do do a lot of like little cool little kids games right, that work really right. well. But this is actually. Uh, you can make it go fast and you can make it last forever. It's mm -hmm. really depending on the player. So, um, I you see. Can, yeah, you can play like if you bring Ties of Time with you, which is what I usually I put all my travel games in one box and you just roll it inside the, the yeah. lid. You can play this, you can play this in the car if you, if you want to. Yep. Yeah. 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 So, hopefully, the, any of the dice don't fall down. <laughs> so, this is a, your grandfather's Ron and Rice being around for a long With time. With your unfiltered place. gamer dice tower, right? No, you Well, you, you don't want to pay dad to travel. It's just too uh, nice. You're going to get all messed it up. It's in your pocket, though. Michael, let's build a car. Let's customize a car that has a yeah, in the dashboard. You, yeah, you have you can you can roll dice you as throw a dice it. Towel, yeah, you just drive it along and yeah. you just grab some dice yeah. and just chuck it. I like that. I like that idea. Quicks, <laughs> quicks. By the way, quicks. A good choice. A good choice, even though you don't like dice chuckers. It's great. It says a lot about this. I I, I, I can't how much, believe how much. How uh, I don't actually have a lot of rolling. I I do enjoy a lot, but I don't know. I don't have a lot in there. I guess I wasn't thinking about rolling rights. This is something that I actually also take to my travel, so I, you know. Oh, don't forget your opinion opinion card from no, for right? game right, right? Yeah, yeah. I never mail it out. And <laughs> now we're on number, number one. one. Six watch. Four. Four. There's my six. Oh! Woohoo! Number one. I got you can one. Make me go first. Wait, wait. Make one me means <laughs> what, we're switching it for the last one, right? So the lowest is the one who gets to choose, right? Make me go. Now, now you change the rules. <laughs> All right, fine. Right. What do you want? I want to go last. I'm gonna go last. I'm gonna go last. I'm gonna go. You go first, Michael. You go in the middle, and I will go. No, last. it's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, the middle isn't so bad because we have a crossover. We do. Inside of this container is our. We do have a crossover, I can't believe it! The pack of games. Ah! <laughs> Look! Alright, so... Um, I was being modest by being only four games. Well, I want to show that all the games... Are these, does this come in there? No, I, oh, oh, you can't I, use I, just, I, just, I just found this. So, um, so pack of, pack of games are my um, number one because of the fact there's so many of them. A lot of them usually, actually a lot of these only takes, you take the cards out and just hold them in your hand. It doesn't even require any table. So, uh, can I cheat and bring out my honorable mention? Since yeah, like, yeah, there's, yeah. A, there's a uh, well, crossover. Well, well, talk about some of them you like that I have, I, we haven't showed you. So yet. I have, so I think my favorite is Spy. This is the one where you have to find the spy. I and think there's the, the bombs. I think that it's you quite the most diffuse. creative, and this is the one you actually hold in your hand. Yeah, yeah. So I like spy. I, I also like shush. Shh. I like lie because you know. It's ice, ice. Yeah. Yeah. I like to I like to mess with my opponents, and uh, I personally like between hue and box, which are a little similar in my mm -hmm. opinion. I prefer box. I like hue better. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you but know. bigger shoes, I mean, really. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I it's just they're just so small. You get tired of one, you just go to another one, and mm -hmm. you need to pack them up, just like you know, gun gun. And each design is very distinct. How Even many? Boxes, sixteen total of these. Sixteen plus one. 
Yeah, okay, I and you have fourteen. Here. I don't have the well. I don't. I didn't. I don't have the fly because I don't like the bug. So I didn't get that one. It's just. It's a. It's a bug on a piece of paper. It's like draw printed on. It's not gonna leap out. <laughs> no, no bugs for me. All right, go ahead and give us your honorable mention then. All right, so I wanna show you guys these two games. These are uh, City Explorer, I'm, Kyoto. Oh, I'm so jealous right now. And Tainan. <laughs> So uh, these are from Taiwan, and the designer is actually Japanese. So uh, City Explorer Kyoto is the first one he designed, and then I guess they obtained the rights, and then they did a uh, Tainan one for the city of Tainan. So um, if you happen to be going to Kyoto or Tainan, then you should definitely bring these games with you because they uh, they have all the sites on there, so you can you know exactly where you can visit. There's a little bit of historic history behind it, and this is a uh, how to play the game. Basically, these new, did you just go to Japan and get these? Uh, Taiwan. Taiwan, sorry, yeah. Taiwan. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, these are these are. That's new when your your last trip then. SN SN release, yeah, last year. So you have all the sites laid out. And they're, it's kind of like goldfish, if you will. So you you look at a you look at a car, you flip it over, you put it back, and then uh, it's like a grid of I think it's either five by five or I'm not sure the number. And but you when someone's ready, you can only score one row. As soon as somebody score one row, so you basically look and you can shift things around, but people don't know what you're doing. As soon as somebody scores a row, then you have to pick a row. So and then you just scroll. Basically, it's kind of like your itinerary. Yeah. Like yeah. like. I want the I want to go to these places and you you score where you go and you know that's you even have a map it has exactly. all the sites yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's kind of cool it's like a travel so, guide mixed in with the game yeah it does have a, it does take a lot of room on the table because you're you're laying the cards out so you can see everything but if you're going to Kyoto you should you should check out the game you the know where to go right? or Tainan. Boxes are very the pretty. The boxes are made. You can actually feel They're the stitching. They're soft and they got little like stitches. No, you can actually feel the stitching. It, feels like, so it's it looks a travel, like a journal. Like a travel book too. Yeah, so like they that. deliberately made that. So this is by, uh, the, the the version I have is by Moi Ideas from Taiwan. Yeah. You, they gotta Taiwanese. franchise this. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? Yeah. I mean, are there just those two? They are. No they had two more, uh, like two new cities in the works. So yeah. Yeah. that's that's so cool. I need to borrow those. <laughs> sure, you can borrow them. All right. All right. My number one is a game I got into before I started reviewing, and before I started doing any 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 uh, anything. But it was like during college, actually. Oh. And this game, it's actually not that old, but the idea is. <laughs> Digging deeper and deeper into a dungeon of your own creations, in which everybody else is also putting stuff in. You know, it's a small box game, and it's called Welcome to the Dungeon. Oh, this game! Welcome to the Dungeon. Basically, you get to choose a character that anybody can be. And then everybody's going to be drawing cards from a deck and placing them into the dungeon. Now, if you put the card in, you know it's in there, but not everybody does. <laughs> when you decide to pass, you're out. You can't go in the dungeon, so you can't win, but you also can't lose. When you go into the dungeon, you're the last person left after people have put stuff in and people have taken away different armor equipment pieces that you have for your character. You're going to go in by yourself with whatever is left against whatever is in the dungeon. And... It's kind of a gamble based on what you think players put in, based on what you think players stole from other players. And it has a bit of a push your luck thing, but it has more than that because you know what's available to you except for what your opponents did. So they're not gonna tell you exactly what they've put in there, which is the nasty bit about it. But uh, if you play really, really smart, you can win this game by either staying alive as the only person and never going in, or you can go ahead and attempt to go in twice and succeed two times uh, <coughs> in the entire game and you'll win that way as well. They have a second uh, version as well. This is by Elo Games and it's for two to four players. It takes about 20 minutes to play. It's pretty quick, but I really enjoy this game. It has seven or eight, or six, five or six, I should say, different characters. There's like the rogue and the mage. There's like an expansion now, right? Like I think there's a second one. It's called Return. Second one. Return, yeah. return to Welcome. Return to the Dungeon. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. But oh, Welcome Back. Welcome, welcome Back. back to the welcome Dungeon. Back. But I really enjoyed this game. I don't know why. We've played this so many times, though. And it has, it just has something something here for me. Mm-hmm. A lot of my friends love that game. Like, that's like their opener. Like, yeah. I go to meet up there. This one particular meet up, it's like, that's always the opener. And it's, it's so easy and to the, and That series is very good, too, for any travel games as well. Yeah, all yeah. the ones in that size box. Tom, Tom, yeah, Tempura, Tempura is actually my personal Tempura? favorite, yeah. 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 Which I actually don't have. 
You don't have it? I don't have it. I don't own it. I love the game, but I don't own it. Kitty yeah. cats. Yeah. That's my number one. Welcome to the dungeon. Awesome. Anyway. You're up. No, you're our last contestant here. I know, here. right? I cheated again. How'd you cheat again? I put there's two games in there. It's and, fine. And it's, it's totally and, fine. And I think it's a, and it's a double cheat too because it's a game that's not actually not published. I just stole the oh. mechanics. I mean, I, I picked only one game here, but <laughs> somebody gave me two more, so I guess I guess we're all. In the I boat. just stole the mechanics and just put a different picture on it. Yeah, I know what you're gonna pick. I know. So it's, <laughs> this is my most traveled game that I have in my collection, and this is uh, Final Fantasy Summoner Society, which is actually based on High Society. From Rainer oh. Knizia. High Society by Rainer Knizia is yeah. his number one. This exists? No, it does not. He made this. I know. I made this myself. <laughs> because I would buy that game, like right now. <laughs> and it also. In fact, I would buy this from you. <laughs> no, it's right not. now. <laughs> and it also. <sighs> and it also includes uh, my own version of Love Letter as well, Final Fantasy VI Love Letter, which actually is different. So from six Love is Letter. your favorite. Six is my different. Right. My definite favorite. It's like my second Bible. <laughs> so all you need to do is is get Reiner to say it's okay, as well as the publisher for High Society, yeah. and, and then you need the IP for Final Fantasy, and then you can go ahead and make this game. Okay. Anyway, uh, High Society <laughs> is a game where oh you're when you're when you're rich people, right? But this game, you're one of the famous summoners in the Final Fantasy uh... series. So could you, you're either Ferris from Final Fantasy V, you're Echo from uh, Final Fantasy IX. Rydia from Final Fantasy Four, uh, you know from Final so Fantasy. So this is more really like Dissidia because yeah. you are mixing it. Up. Oh is yeah, it, is it only six and below? No, it's actually no. Oh, you know, in there ten. Okay, ten, so yeah, it's like Dissidia. And Garnet from you just know. call it Dissidia. <laughs> well, with, no, there's no, there's no. It's only ba only to summoners. That's it. Summoners. It's only summoners. The known for summoning thing. Mm -hmm. And I really, really try to tie the game into that. For example, you know, you can summon the Chocobo, which is like one because like this is like one of the first things you can summon. Right. I mean, and then you can go all the way up to let's see, um, Ramu. Are you fans of Vanhasi? Because no, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I. I'm not, I'm not as big of a fan as It's my favorite. Final Fantasy VIII is my favorite. I 100% then... own my Final Fantasy games, by the way. Like, I get the platinum. If all the Final Fantasy, the no, only no. Final Fantasy I did not 100% was uh, the MMOs. Oh, like, well, yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you have like but... 200 lightning strikes and. Right. If I, <laughs> I devote, I, if I play a Final Fantasy game, and I usually do, it's. I 100% it. It's and then the only thing, it's exactly the same except for I added two more cards and also an added a five card in here. But uh, you got the ultimate end, which is the Knights of the Round Table, which is worth 13, but it mm -hmm. destroys all your other summons. So he's just worth flat, flat 13 points. <laughs> and then you got uh, Tara, who actually is her own S Esper or right. the summon in the game. Right. So I thought I added her in there. And she's worth one, but for every Esper you have, it's uh, she gets an extra point. I think this just got really nerdy for our, for our viewers. <laughs> I like Final Fantasy, then, High Society, and, and then I know. And then and then the, the kicker would be the Final Fantasy VI uh, love letter, which has Kefka as zero, as he would win the game. He actually is the last one. I was this, I didn't and, actually see this happening. The and, love letter. And then and then the, yeah, all, right? and I the, one of the things I really hated about the original love letter are the guards because they're so boring. So all the guards have either guard or their very special ability and this is all tied to mm. the playable characters in Final Fantasy 6 they actually all fit in there except for General Leo which is actually an exception so oh my god yeah so he went he went all out basically I know this is your favorite travel game yeah this yeah. is what I, I would take <laughs> that's, that's awesome because um, I love Love Letter because yeah. it's a great travel game as well and then High Society also fits very well because it only takes a little bit, but I do just I take the whole box. The whole the box is actually stylized as a Super Nintendo box in there, so so it's crazy. Wow, Ferdinand. Well, well, well done. Won. I think he won. He I won think, nothing. I think he won. Welcome to the dungeon. Did I win, what did you win? Some gill. You won. You won. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I don't even know. I would probably put that in there to edit uh, for editing, but I don't know if I actually can do that. <laughs> Like, oh really? Copyright strike. Well, you can you, can, you can do that, but I just don't know if I can actually put the real thing in when you guys gave the high five. That would've been cool. No, no, we're we're, we're singing it, so it's it's and not. No, I know. It's I'm, not an I'm saying record. if I want to edit it in afterwards. Oh, okay. It should be fine. It's like maybe, it's maybe a small. It's, it's like it's like what Sneaking five in. seconds. If I did, then I did. Okay. I think you get like thirty seconds of like freebies, and that's it. <laughs> um, but 
that was our list for top five travel games or games that you would take on a travel or games that would fit inside your pocket while going to travel. Uh, hopefully you guys had some fun with this list. And uh, if you guys have better options for us in the comments below, please go ahead and write those down and let us know what your favorite travel size games are or games you take on a travel. Um, most of us here put multiple, multiple games on our top five list, which is just fine and dandy. <laughs> so a uh, lot of things to choose from indeed. Thank you so much, Jackie and Ferdinand, for coming mm -hmm. by and playing, doing a little top five with us once again. Uh, Jackie's from Show Me How to Win. Yes. And you can go ahead and I know that you got your first season uh, for your, your for your Show Me How to Win series. And you have a second series season coming up? Yeah, we decided to do a second season. And oh. we're actually doing a giveaway right now. If you see it, if this, if this video is coming out in January, uh, yeah. Michael here is hooking us up with a giveaway. So... IGA Indie Game Alliance and Show Me How to Win is giving away uh, a copy of Feudum and for all the details you can go to his giveaway, his website, go to the giveaway, find our giveaway and you'll find uh, all the details there. Basically, we need your help to help us decide what games we should have on our playthrough. So, Michael awesome. here is going to hook us up. So, your second season, yeah, so we're doing a giveaway, I guess so it's for your second season mm -hmm. of Show Me How to Win. That's really cool. And uh, you can go on my giveaway page on unfilteredgamer.com. It's really easy. Just click that link there and then scroll through uh, the ones you want to choose from and hers is on there. It's going to have uh, what you need to do, your basics, which is going to be subscribe and all that great stuff. And uh, yeah, definitely go ahead and check that out. It'll be Give fun us some suggestions. Yeah, we want to see what the new games are going to be for this, yeah. this season. And uh, check out the first season too. It's really good. It's really mm -hmm. well done. If you like tabletop style filming, you're going to like that as well. And Ferdinand, the cardboard yes. stacker, he does a bunch of great tutorials and other reviews as well. Anything cooking up in the pot for you? Oh, we've got always tutorials and other videos, reviews coming up. And also working with uh, always the in the board game industry with Kickstarter and stuff, so you can see my work there if you if you can find it and see me in the credits. Yeah, I usually if if my five videos in the review section, his is the one that actually is the video of the Kickstarter. So yeah. he's, he's he's doing pretty well. Well, thank you guys for coming. Anything else you guys want to say? Well, bring these games when you travel next time. Yeah, yeah. I, I, would, I would suggest well, that. I would well. say, what you know, what are your favorite travel games? Yeah. And what you like bringing? Maybe we miss something. Or, or do you think like yeah, this is this is, this is too this, this is it this, this is, is too big in the board game industry? This big, is all the games right? there is. To no, it's, from. you don't bring yeah. the box. Nah. I, I do bring the box. I just I have to. He wants to show it off. He literally just brings us on all the top five just to show you guys the box. Be like, look what I made. You guys jelly. Best auction game. Yeah. Best. Oh, also, you guys can't buy this. Uh, this is just a really good travel game that you guys can't actually pick up. But, but uh, it is my favorite travel game. It, yeah. uh, uh, if, if you want, you can make your own uh, version of a game. But it's not going to be as good as mine. Leave me alone. <laughs> just, just get Brink. You can, you can throw it across the table. It, 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 it's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. As always, uh, we wish you well, and we look forward to seeing you guys yeah, next time. time. Perfect, thank you. That was it.